Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the No Laying Up podcast. Sally here got a really fun episode coming up shortly. Some friends of mine, Doug Smith, Will Lowry, Roger Steele, we met up at Bandon. They were in the group in front of us for a lot of our golf. And we've talked a lot about Bandon on this podcast, but uh, getting to do it with a couple of guys that went out there for the first time, uh, some different voices on this pod, two of them, uh, Will and uh, Doug had never been on before. We had a blast, you know, shooting the shit at Pacific Dunes afterwards, just talking about the courses. I said, all right, let's pause it. Let's do it on the podcast when we get home. So we recorded this uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's coming out now, but uh, maybe, maybe a little different look on Bannon, but just high energy podcast. I had a lot of fun with these dudes. This episode is, of course, brought to you by our friends at Precision Pro. We are proud to say it, no laying up, that season nine of Taurus Sauce is presented by our longtime partners at Precision Pro Golf. Precision Pro recently launched the Titan Elite. So it's a new gold standard for golf range finders, the Titan Elite. It stands out with its incredible build, quality, and durability thanks to its aluminum shell, IP67 dust, and waterproof rating. Plus, you can connect the Titan Elite to the Precision Pro app to take full advantage of ground-breaking features like GPS front, center, and back of green yardages, as well as the Find My Titan. It alerts you uh, if you've left your rangefinder behind. Everybody's done that before at least once. Uh, and, of course, it comes with the same accuracy and speed that you would expect from any Precision Pro rangefinder. Don't forget, of course, about the NX10 rangefinder. It's fast, accurate, and available in a variety of no laying up designs, including the Taurus Sauce 9 limited edition Vegemite inspired wayward uh, golfer design. Best of all, Precision Pro is currently running a Father's Day sale. All range finders are $30 off, including this new Titan Elite. Head to precisionprogolf.com to take advantage of their best sale of the year. Save $30 on your next range finder. And don't forget to grab one for your dad as well. That's Precision Pro Golf. Dot com. Also, be sure to check out Taurus Sauce this coming Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Without any further delay, here is our podcast about Bain and Dudes. All right. This course needs some exposure. Plucky little resort on the West Coast in Oregon. If you haven't heard of it, it's referred to as Band and Dunes, kind of a little bit of a cult following. Uh, we were one of the first podcasts, I think, to, to debrief on this. Listen, it's a topic we've covered many times over the years, but uh, I, you know, met a couple individuals out of Band this past week that I'm about to introduce you to. And within five minutes of talking to him in the clubhouse, it's like, all right, we got to get on the pod and we got to debate this stuff. Because a couple first timers that had not been there before. Listen, sometimes we get down some rabbit holes talking about bunkers and all this stuff that maybe people can't picture at home. So I want to talk to a few guys that, uh, you know, had just experienced Bannon for the first time. First one up, Doug Smith. He is, uh, it was impassioned talking about the 18th hole at Old Mac when I ran into him. So I was like, all right, we got, we got to turn the mics on. Doug, welcome to the show. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all having me in here, man. And appreciate Roger Steele inviting us to have this whole experience where we bumped into you, Sully. So appreciate y'all. Uh, absolutely. His co-host uh, of his podcast, Beyond the Fairway, Will Lowry. If you don't uh, recognize the name, you should. And if you don't, us big break fans back in the day, remember him as, of course, the cross-handed golfer. You're never going to outlive that. Will, thank you for joining us. <laughs> absolutely, man. I greatly appreciate you having me. And uh, and so we can just talk about golf. I mean, this is this is a good time we're just talking about golf. And all the holes that made Doug mad. So I'm at <laughs> Raj. I almost did you dirty on this one. Uh, I, I've seen, I follow you on Instagram. I see where you're at, and I was like, man, I don't even know if I want to try to get on Roger's schedule right now. He's everywhere at every moment. I was like, I think I could track down Doug and Will faster than I can, Roger. But here he is, Roger Steele. He's been on the show before, but welcome back. I hey, appreciate you, Sally, man. It, you know, it wouldn't have been no hard feelings if you would have left me out of this one either, man. You know what I mean? Because uh, you know, I think that. My takes on banding are just very, very high level, supportive. Banding can do no wrong. There is no problems with banding. It is perfect golf. So, like, I don't know how much I'm going to actually add to this to get, you know, controversy started, which I feel these two might have some controversial takes. But, but yeah, it is a pleasure to be here with y'all. Well, let's start with you, Doug. What did off the top? What what did you know about Bannon coming in? What you know? Did it meet the hype? What's your initial impression when you walk out there? What's the first thing you saw that you were like, "Oh shit, okay, this is what this well, is." Well, let, this let me. Give, I've had some time to debrief. Right? Okay. So when I take that question, the first thing, I, my first learning, if you will, is I think your first time at Bandon is going to be your worst time at Bandon. And I'm taking y'all might have a better experience than me because you know you you zip around the course, you play a couple courses real quick, you're tired, you're walking, you're trying to take it all in. You've got this backdrop that is majestic. You know, Roger talked about the spiritual moments that we have uh, you know coming up over certain cliffs and rises. So, I will say probably your first time at Bandon is going to be your worst time at Bandon and that bleeds into Old McDonald. I, I, you know, they say it had a farm. Well, it, it, it wasn't for me. I'm gonna just be honest with you. It guys. went, like, hey, it went, like, it went, yeah, 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 on his ass. 
I didn't play bad. E I E I yo on his ass. That's what happened, and I love that. That's how. That's how we gonna start out here. But no, I mean that's what. My biggest gripe is the 18th closing hole, and you've got this mound short right, and we may or may not have received some advice that you could run one up off the right side of the fairway, or where I was, was way out near one. But anyway, mm. besides the point. So you're but coming from you, the wrong you, spot. Okay, no, interesting. That's, not, that's not besides the point, first interesting. of all. Interesting. It's not beside, thank you, no. Roger. It's Doug, not beside Doug, the point. Doug, Doug chunk blocked the three wood off the 18th tee. That's fair. And had no Hate shot that is, to that green over the mound. Hole. And, and for the for the rest of the day, he would not stop complaining about 18, bro. Hey, Roger, no. you remember, you you remember, he, he started complaining immediately because he's like, man, if you look at his tee box, it's nestled down <laughs> at a downhill slope. A downhill slope. And, it's and, a downhill and, slope. It's, a, hey, it's, it's downhill so, slope. So, so we never heard the end That's, of 18 to Old McDonald the whole trip. Bro. But you know, like, but it you was know, that bad. The, the, the I could have got on 17 was, as well. Perfect. Hold on, hold on. Perfect. The problem was it started on 17 with Doug. I could have got on 17. Our, our, our That's a part played, five, right? Yeah. Our caddy gave yeah. him a bad line off the tee. He told him to play it over there to the right side. Doug found a bunker because he beat on one. And then he makes it. Would you make a bogey on 17? I know you was pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I feel attacked. Let me just say I feel attacked right now. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I thought this was going to be a safe space. He drop kick blocked a three wood on 18 and he lets one bad T shot no, no. turn into a teardown yeah. of what I think is one of the, the most spiritual. Most beautiful. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, of course. He looks hey, he like, like, you know what? Look, I, don't, I don't see what you were saying about old McDonald. I don't see none of that. I don't see that. I don't see that. No, I, I still don't. And look, I've given it, Roger. I'm giving it. First of all, this is my turn to go. You know, this is, this is how this is going to be. All right, Listen, we, we laying up today then. I don't know if you need me. I don't know if you guys need me here at all, but Raj, let me say, I don't know, Doug, that well. That was a spot on impression, if I, if I may say. You know what, Sally? You, um, all right, I'm going to let y'all take that. You know, all right, I see how this is going to be today. Hey, Doug, hey, Doug, let me tell you, the, when he when he drop kicked the block off the three wood off the off the uh, 18th, you're block, making it sound way worse than it was. But hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, that's when that's when the green was the green was terrible, and we haven't seen the green yet. I was like, damn, man, this whole okay, already fine, bad. <laughs> fine, Will. I went back through the footage. I actually saw you in the same spot where I was, and too, you were right next to me. You yeah. thought that was a well designed little mound in front of the right side of that green with a front right hole location? Can't tell me it was. But we, I mean, were on the, well, we were on the wrong side of the fairway, bro. That's exactly. Where, let's work backwards on this because this this place is magical for many different experiences. But for me, I'm an architecture like nut. I'm a strategy nut, right? It, so this would tell you like, hey, if you miss in the wrong spot, all of a sudden this mound is in your way, right? Like this is Absolutely. a problem here. If you're in the right spot, you can come up. I love golf courses that work backwards through that and and you know develop some emotion with it, right? A lot, way too many golf courses. You can blow it way over there, blow it way over there. I'm like, it's just too penal. Like you don't have the opportunity to recover. At least yeah. this is like, I kind of did this to myself here. I can still get it near the green, but this mound here is causing me a lot of problems. Absolutely. You know what? I did do it to myself. Look, did I have 245 yards in the 18? <laughs> yes, I did have 245. <laughs> did I ask who we was with if I could just run one up? And he's like, yeah, aim 15 feet right. And I hit this uh. little smoked three iron as low as possible trying to run it up never even said there was a mound right as matter of fact he told me to take it right at the flag so i'm a little upset so it was a i still don't like the design the hole's fine but the design the mound front right i don't appreciate it i i i do i do say that hole is a bit tricky because coming off the tee without having to block the three wood or drop kick it it is a little it is a little weird on the depth of the eyes right am i going to run into the bunker uh, am I going to, is a three wood right play? Because that three was lengthy because we we all hit three wood because we were scared. And the bunkers are staggered. You got the bunker coming off the right and then the one through on the left. Yeah. And you know what? Like Tom Doak and Jim Urbina that designed this golf course would be, are smiling right now listening to this. That's exactly what they would want. They would want you to say like, the depth is kind of messing my up my eye right here. That's exactly yeah. what they would get a huge thrill out of that one. But what, I mean, overall, uh, avoiding 18 and, and you know, the, the awful downhill tee uh slope that made you chunk hook that or toe uh whatever you want to right. call that three i said way. it before it happened don't worry about it <laughs> what's your reaction to the, but let's start from the, the beginning of that golf course though it hits pretty damn hard that first hole second hole, and the third hole you crest over that hill it some people struggle with old mcdonald's some people don't like it you know they're three putting too much greens too big blah blah blah, blah. what's what, what roger i'm gonna throw it to you what's what's your old mcdonald uh how do you how do you rate that one bro to me old mcdonald is like you know, when the, the whole mantra about banding is, you know, golf as it was meant to be, right? And so I think that old McDonald 
feels like the first golf course that was, I'm saying, feels like the first golf course that was built that they got right. That's what it feels like to me. Mm -hmm. And I just think that there's something that's so beautiful about looking at Old McDonald. Once you come over, you know, once you go past the ghost tree and you, you're able to see the entirety of the property pretty much, and you're able to see all these people on all these different golf experiences, it really looks like a field that they figured out how to route properly to turn into this like beautiful golf experience. And, and I just think that like going into Ben and I've been there four times. I love opening up my trip with old McDonald because I feel like it puts your, your head in the right space as far as what the experience is intended to be. You know what I mean? And I, I just, it's like, it's a very communal experience. Uh, it's a very like original and authentic experience. And so I just, I love that course, man. That that course yeah. can do no wrong to me. And, you know? and for the record, so like, I've got no gripes with the front nine at, at Old Mac. I think yeah. the front nine at Old Mac is some of the purest golf you'll play. Matter of fact, I'll take it as far as to go through the first thirteen holes. The rest of thirteen. Eh. <laughs> just me. So for me, well, I, I, just, I, just but you me, know, I, I said this bro, to you, bro. Don't be surprised, bro. You gonna throw out 14, 15, 16? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah, 14, 15, I didn't say they weren't amazing. Sixteen, I'll get sixteen. I, I got some. The, the mound coming in off the left on 16. When hey, God, I like who that out there. No, no, the, the whole, I respect the, the hole. No, I respect the hole. That's the whole I point made of the hole. I made a beautiful double. I made a phenomenal double there. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, oh, class. First team all American double bogey right A there. useful double. Oh, bro. Well, Barrick in a bad shot. He's like, why would they put the fucking pin on the green? <laughs> Hey, you got the, you got the, you got the, the in front of the green hey, in front of the tee box, man. Hey, Doug is like, Doug is like, you got the damn sheep. I hear sheep in the background, uh, <laughs> a couple miles away. Like, God, like, I mean, who put the mountain there? Like, it's, it's just so bad. <laughs> I feel ganged up on. I still feel attacked. Well, no, this, I, 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 we should have mixed up our groups and, and staggered this because that'd have been really fun to go through that. It's like, all right. If we go back to that tee shot, they would tell you, all right, if you risk going in the bunkers down the right side, that's the that's the challenge. If you keep it right, you're gonna have a clean look at the green. If not, you can play left, but you're gonna have a blind, you know. That that's that's the kind of stuff that like again, I've been five times now. I get to kind of add some layers of appreciation on because I've definitely walked off holes at band and been like, dude, I don't ever want to play that one again. And then it's like, yeah, oh, and this wind now, okay. Well, now this makes yeah. sense. Like, oh, yeah. I did that to myself. I'm the one that hit the three wood way offline and had 245. Anyways. Well, we're not going to let live that one down, Doug. But um, it's fine. No, it's fine. I'll take it. So, Roger, to your point. So, this is the first time I played Old Mac. Now they have Poana greens, which uh, you know they used to have the fescue greens that were kind of sandy, and that felt always felt disconnected to me. Like now, the Poana greens, like the connection to the rest of the golf courses at Bandon, and like they look better. Like the slopes just yeah. look a little it better, and more. Yeah, it, it and they were pure. I mean, that was yeah. that was a major on the property. Yeah, that was a major upgrade to Old Mac. I've always ranked it fifth for me, which like sounds like I don't like it, but it's one of my favorite golf courses. It's just that the golf offering is that freaking strong at Bannon. I would say like it's fifth, but if I had 10 rounds to divide up between the five courses, I'd, I'd play two on all of them. Like that's that kind of defines the whole Bannon experience for me. But that front nine, oh, Roger, we can get, we'll get we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get you your, we'll give you your chance to uh, yeah. to share your opinion there. But the front nine is so good. I mean, it really is. That 10, 11, 12 is where it loses me a little bit. Like that, I, I think they they could reshape those greens. They, they probably would love to do that. Just soften that blow a little bit because it gets pretty extreme in that part of the property and uh, and whatnot. But it, it, it's a polarizing course for some people. It's what their hole, favorite. What hole is the road hole? Uh, region? 11, 11. 11. Yeah. I liked 11. The green was diabolical, but 11 was cold. Yeah, that, that was that was pretty solid. I um, I, I'm pivoting a little bit, but you know, com, coming off that, the second hole, walking the third hole, coming off the hill, and you see the whole property there, that that right there, I, I think I think that's the essence of of Bandon Dunes. If you if you ask me, uh, that's something I'll always remember. And it's that that climb up to seven is it just it, I swear it gets better every time you go back. Yeah, like you just forget how yeah. steep that climb is, how cool that green side is up there. And, Similar to you, Doug, I, I got to the fourth hole. We had a little wind into us. That's the hog's back. So for those that haven't seen it, like it's a long par four and you got this, this, this ridge that runs kind of diagonally through it. And then the front left side is closer to you than the front, you know, the right side of it. And I got a ball moving left to right. And it was just like, I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And it climbed all the way up to the top of that ridge and fell all the way backwards into the bunker. 
and I started cursing the course. I was like, that's stupid. Like, <laughs> that's stupid hogs back. And then like, as soon as I walked off the tee, I was like, dude, you just got owned. Like you knew exactly what the shot was asking there. It's not stupid. That's the design. You got caught, you got your hand caught and you got the punishment. You got to live with it right now. That's like, it, 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 you got to have that balance, right? At Bannon, sometimes you just get like these instances where you get in these horrible spots. And you're like, dude, I, I want to be mad at the course, but you, you did this to yourself here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, I will say playing Ben in the way it's designed makes it way more pleasurable, dog. <laughs> way more pleasurable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what makes it even crazier is that uh and and, and I guess it's it's really uh it can show up in all the properties, but be, Pacific Dunes and O McDonald, if there is a lot of wind, that course plays completely different. Like yeah. it's a it's not almost like you're not playing the same course. I actually hated Pack Dunes for a long time because every time I played it, it was an afternoon round and it was gusting forty. Like ah. it's like when you when you catch when you catch Pacific Dunes with 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 high winds, it it turned into a different kind of monster, man. Especially four. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, four into the four. teeth of the wind is like man. That's one of the the hardest holes I played, but it seemed like they cleared out. A lot of the grass over there to the left if you go you know over the bunkers over the left so it they, they made it a bit more fair on the approach if you just bail out way left but it's unlike the, will lowry yeah. roger <laughs> snap hook one off the oats. Yeah. hey my boy will my boy will stepped up to four inspired inspired <laughs> what happened you know, here now, now keep in mind keep in mind will hits a very straight ball like will right. ball don't don't curve a whole lot you know what i mean and so when he's setting up to this tee shot i don't know like it, it looked like a little bit kamikaze ish or something i don't i don't really know what was going through his mind mm -hmm. but he That's took cool. a very aggressive uh alignment down the right side and i'm like i'm confident that this start line is is off the property like i'm confident <laughs> off, the start line is off the property and it was just like he was looking into the eyes of Medusa, man, and he just blasted <laughs> with like a with like a one yard draw, and I just just never had a chance. <laughs> I'm like, man, the ocean, like, so, hey, when people see that ocean, they do some weird stuff. It's some weird stuff, dog. Hey, I when, got, they see, I, when they I get that caught. when they get that first little look at that water, they people get weird, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and I didn't care about hitting my ball in the water. I just wanted, <laughs> I just wanted, if I could get that thing over there, if I could get it drawn over the whale and coming back the right fairway, I was, I was gonna do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I've gone over that clip, and the hardest part to realize is like literally the entire United States is to your left. The <laughs> only place you can't go is the Pacific Ocean. Like <laughs> it's not United States. Bro, to your left, exactly. Bro, that is so true. No is so country true. left to the right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you got all you got all of USA over there. That's so true. <laughs> no Lang Up is sponsored by Fandle. Whether you're playing golf or betting on it, there's nothing worse than first tee jitters. But with Fandle, you can crush your first bet off the tee because right now new customers get hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets guaranteed with any five dollar bet. That's hundred and fifty bucks, win or lose. I love watching as the week goes along. Uh, the live lines, you can get all kinds of great action on top fives, winners, all kinds of fantastic plays. Uh, we hit, we've had a couple in some of our preview shows as well, I mean, if I may say. If I may, 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 may tout that a little bit. Go for the green all PGA Tour season long with bets like longest drive, closest to the pin, outright winners, and more. Visit FanDuel.com slash NLU. Hit your first bet right down the middle of the fairway with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. FanDuel official. Official betting operator of the PGA Tour. Must be 21 and older, 18 and older in D.C. and select states. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit rg-help.com. First online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Let's get back to the pod. A lot of our debate we've had on Pacific Dudes is is based in what you said there about the wind, right? And I I've, I think it's a really penal golf course, right? The thrills are really high, really, really high. I mean, it's some of the coolest land ever to play golf on. It's mo probably the most picturesque course. Some really thrilling shots and holes. And I just, I struggle with it just a little bit because to me, I like golf courses that are really challenging for a low handicap player. I'm like a scratch player. Like it's challenging, thought provoking for me yet a mid to high handicapper, you know, is going to find their ball, going to have a good time. And like, it brings us closer together. Right. I don't, you know, nobody likes to see your, your buddy like struggle and, and shoot 95 and, and, and get penalized out there. And I feel like pack goes the, the opposite directions. Like as a, as a lower cap player, 
I feel like Pack is on the easy side for me. Like it, you know, a lot of the things that are really going to punish you two, three, four shots, the good player isn't going to hit it in necessarily. And so it falls a bit in my rankings, despite like a lot of people have it number one. I'm curious, like where you guys have have Pack slotting out, Doug. Uh, well, let me let me preface this. I didn't get to play two courses. Didn't play Bandon. Didn't play Shorties on this trip. So we just got to play the other three courses. Or no, sheep, right? um, you didn't play sheep. Or sheep. sheep. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, sheep. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't play sheep or dunes. That's what we didn't yep. play. From what I played of the three, it's it's second to me. Um, yep. I, I, to your point, I felt like like one for example. That's a position play. Uh, I want to say like seven's a position play. And sorry if I'm getting the numbers wrong. Six, but, the, the, uh, the short six. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Six, so it's, it's like you're really having to kind of plot around, and I. I don't enjoy that. I want to hit the driver. I want to be rewarded for good drives or penalized for bad drives. I understand the place to play a little, you know, position off the tee, but you're so hyped to be out there, play Oceanside, win, beauty. I I, I agree with you on that statement. Yeah, I'm a huge component of – I don't drive the ball as Two. long as these guys uh, right here. The, these guys are – they, they're bombers. They, I, you can build Walmart's between their ball. And my, I think one, I think one shot I had a text Doug like, "Yo, I'm, I'm coming up." Like, <laughs> I'm coming up. And 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 so and so I, I'm all about you know high percentage shots. Again, you know if I if I can take a two iron, trusty three wood, and place it, and and that's kind of where that this is more my speed. But again, if those winds kick up at Pacific Dunes, that's a different course. You, you, you're not, you can't really, yeah, you can't casually walk into to uh, these shots and thinking it's going to be uh, rudimentary. And I also think that it's just a rude awakening when you stack up because the last times that I've been there is gone. I've gone old Mac and then pack dunes. And like when you come off of, you know, old Mac where you could literally blast the ball anywhere and then you come to Pacific dunes where it's, you know, you got a couple holes. Like, I mean, I, the, the tee shot at 18 is like wild on Pacific dunes to me. That part five, like just how you have to thread that, like I'm hitting a fade around there. I'm trying to like, hug the left side and drop one in there and try to make something happen. Uh, came up short, ended up in that bunker on the left. Down that bunker, yeah. But it was just like, I did, there's some very, very daunting tee shots out there on Pacific Dunes that I feel like when that wind kicks up and then after you've had this very tranquil experience at Old Mac, cause you were out there in the morning, it's like, yo, why the, like, why am I getting fucking domestically abused right now? You know what I mean? Like, what is, what, what are y'all doing here? You know what I'm saying? And it's, so I've had I've had some of my like that was the first time I went out the first time I went out there that was the first time that I saw a profile shot a profile view of a ball trajectory with a forty mile power wind uh, in the face and I and I saw the ball reach its apex and come back and I was like yeah. yo I didn't even know that this was a thing bro yeah and yeah. Uh, that that course it, it, has shown me like you know it, it showed me some ugly things about you know playing golf in the wrong condition. <laughs> yeah, if, if if you were fast enough, you probably could have caught it. The way that ball takes, I'm, up, takes bro, it up. I'm, I'm serious, bro. <laughs> seriously. Like I've seen some, I've seen some weird things on. But I, I do think that like around the middle of the, you know, around the middle of the course, I, I, I want to say around like nine, it starts to open up a bit. It seems like they try to want to give you a few shots back. Um, but yeah, and then I think that you know, like that, but that closing hole is just like let me kick you in your mouth one more time. And that's where like it it it's the number one public golf course in America, right? And so you're kind of holding it. My critiques of the course are are up against that, right? I mean, is it like one of the thrilling, most thrilling golf courses in the world to play? A hundred percent. It's an awesome walk, and like our our buddy Poosh, who who was on the trip with us, like he is a pack dunes fanatic, and like we you know we debated all the time, and like eventually by the end of the trip, we're kind of like okay. We just kind of like different things here. He loves the found nature of the golf holes. He loves the walks between the holes are really well designed. He loves, yes, you know, is. that it's not overly, you know, shaped and manufactured. It's a lot more natural and, and kind of almost just discovered golf holes. Like, hey, I can't really argue with any of that. Whereas yeah. I know y'all think it's by Bandon on this trip, but Bandon to me is like the proper chess match of, you know, taking on risk. And it, it's got just a mm -hmm. little bit more width at times for when it get when you get those crazy windy days. It's hard, but like it's possible. Yeah. Like you can do yeah. something with it. Whereas, man, there's times out there pack feels quite impossible. Uh, some of those shots, and yeah. Okay, well, okay, Solly, Roger. Here's a question I want to know. Since Doug and I didn't get to play the other two, mm. Sheep and Dunes, if you had, if you had to go, what's your handicap, Solly? Where are you at? You I'm at like plus scratch? plus one right now. Plus one. All right. If you if you had to go shoot three under par somewhere, if your life depended on it what hole would you go to? I mean, what course would you go to? Like, I can rely on this course, but at least 20 mile per hour win. Where would you go? 
Probably sheep for me. Yeah. It's it's yeah. got short fives. It's got a bunch of fives. I think it's got five par fives, if I remember Ooh. right. And it's it's the most friendly. It's easy. It's it, and, so it, friendly. and sheep is like I almost put sheep in a different category. I mean it it is it's an incredible like experience out on that cliff. The views are even better than the rest of them. There's some thrilling, thrilling shots. Up whoa, whoa, the, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Sheep is better than the views on trails. Roger, you agree with that? Well, I mean, ocean views though. Ocean, ocean views. Oh, ocean views. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, like, okay, okay. you got sixteen holes that are like have ocean views on this golf course. I mean, yeah. the way it goes out on this point, I mean, it's it's thrilling. It's not like the best golf course. Like, I think it, you know, it's a little hemmed in in that in that part of the land. But, uh, you know, especially for a high handicapper, that's the, easily the most friendly course, and it's still very fun for a low handicapper. So. It's hard. I've had sheep above pack in my rankings, and I catch some flack for that. But it's just like, if I had to pick between Bandon and Pacific, I'd pick Bandon. And then it's like, if I want something different, you go over to sheep. And it's like, you ca we caught it at 7 a.m. summer morning was the only, uh, well, the first time I played it. And it's like, dude, try to have a bad time on that place. Like the sun rising, oh, yeah. wind, wind down. The, that scenery is like, it's a, it is a spiritual hit out there. Raj, what's your answer? It's a fun track, but I'm actually going to put sheep at the bottom of of my list. For to, to go low on? Oh, no, as far as okay. going low, yeah. yeah. That's, that's that's at the top of the go low list. Yeah. I would say sheep, then I would say, I would I would probably say 20 mile power win. I would say sheep, then old Mac, as far as ones you could count on, you know, being able to get around pretty easily. You know what I mean? But I do think that Bandon is more fair than, than Pacific Dunes. I think that like with Bandit, you could kind of pick your poison as far as like how aggressive you want to get. Like, you know, obviously the deeper you put it down there, there's holes that start to pinch in a bit. You know what I mean? If, if you really want to try to test it, but you could always play back to a comfortable distance and, and you, you, you know, you have reasonable approaches in and a good amount of room for you to, you know, land drive. So, but yeah, I, I think that like, you know, sheep, sheep first, old Mac second, as far as ones, if I needed to post something under par, I could probably get it done out there uh, easy, uh, the easiest. You know, again, you guys didn't get to play Bandon, uh, but I I just love the way Bandon works its way to the coast and doesn't um, it, it, in several different ways. It like goes at it right with it, which is just a, I always think hitting the shots at the ocean is more thrilling than yeah. hitting it to at the side, right? And it, it leaves you with some more real estate to have another hole that runs, uh, you know, along alongside it, right? You get to, like four and thirteen take up a lot of real estate on the coast uh, at Pacific Dunes, whereas Bandon, like the fourth hole. It like bends to the right and dog legs, and you hit this shot right at the ocean. Yeah. Awesome contour green with a, a little pot bunker kind of short left with the wind is usually coming off the right and the pin back left. It's like that's like my favorite shot, maybe to hit in golf. It, you're aiming it away from the pin and trying to ride the wind in mm -hmm. at the ocean. Like it, mm -hmm. it's sick. And then you play along the ocean on five, then you come back on 12 and you have this par three that's right at the ocean again, kind of similar little bunker here with a big mound to the right. Uh, and then you work your way back and then you come back to uh, down 16. Like it, not you a lot just of people lit up, Sully. You just lit straight up talking about that. right? Yeah, yeah. I love this place, but man. Bandit, but Bandit get it right, man. Bandit gets it right. Like as far as like whole interactions, like, I mean, ocean interactions, like Sully saying, Bandit, like Bandit gets it right. I mean, but when you think about, when you think about the trails, like you, that's an experience in itself. You're yeah. going through, you start out in these, these dunes and then you're going through this, this beautiful forest, like you know, whole other world, then you come back to the dunes. It's like, yeah. where did I just come out of? Like, I just went through a matrix. Yeah, the riding on trails is crazy, bro. Like, that's yeah. the fact that you yeah. could build a course that has no ocean interaction and like have it be in the conversation with all of these other properties is like, I mean, all these other courses is. I mean, that that is special. That's a special, yeah. special, special. I, I struggle to like because I just wonder, like, is it is it like the girl that's that's cute because she different? You know what I mean? Like, do I do I hold her in such high regard because she, you know what I mean? Like, she got something different going on. You know what I mean? I don't but know. It's Sally, like a six, it's like a six with a trust fund. Hey, Sally, hey, Sally, you ever gone? You ever gone to a party with a bunch of black dudes before, and then all the girls hit on you because you're the only white guy there? You ever had that before? So many times, Roger. You wouldn't believe it. So and many that's, times. That's, that's my trails experience. That's, I'm like, man, do I like you because you different? What's up? Why am I scared? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yes. It's definitely like your mother-in-law driving a cliff of your brand new car. It's but, like, I, I kind of like it. I don't know. But that's where, like, <laughs> to me, it, it just, again, you could, why you can talk about Bannon for like a tenth, the 10th tenth time on a podcast is like, 
it's such a different offering, right? Like you have these two ocean courses and they say, no, we're going back into the woods and you would expect to be underwhelmed. Like you would expect like, uh, I, this is kind of what I'm here for. And then you play this golf course and, and you know, the first hole is kind of whatever. And then 18 kind of whatever. Yeah. They don't really match, but then it's like literally in between it's like, dude, try to find, try to find the worst hole between two and 17. Yeah, I tried to do this the other day. Like, I, no, no. It, my vote would be 14, and that might be some people's favorite hole on, on Bannon Trails. The short the drive before. No, the, the, I love that hole. The, you, yeah, no. see, exactly. Yeah, no. Exactly. Bro, but, but but don't you think that it's kind of like a dope, like a dope, uh, just a deviation from the Bandon experience to start off with one and two where it feels very, you know, doomsy and, you know, you kind of, you kind of got still the Lynx vibes and it's like, let me take, let me I get it. transition you into a different world. I really thought it was about to be goofy. When I saw that first hole yeah. at Trail, I said, oh, this is about to be a goofy course. Cool. I'm just going to ride, you know, ride the wave, but I, give Roger, Rogers credit, credit. He was like, Hey, you about to go on experience. Just have your camera ready. And I was like, nah, this number one hole ain't, ain't doing it for me. I'm cool. I can put the camera in my bag. But hey, the birdie so on two you, made it great for me. So I'll take that. You said the birdie on two? Yeah. Was okay. that the part three? The part three? All right. Doug, three. Doug did have good holes outside of 18. That so I was going to say, Mac. so we don't like, yeah. we don't like 18 and old Mac, but we like two. But, but I see the hey, theme. Hey, Sully. No, <laughs> hey, 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 Sully. It's almost to the point. Me and Roger was praying. That Doug get birdie. It's like, man, please, God, get a birdie please, so, so, we can, so we can like the whole, so we can like the the, the whole course. Like, we was, no, I made, was I made, hold on, real rude? quick, eleven, eleven. I made the most another beautiful art artistic double that I will always. That hole is awesome. That's probably my favorite hole in Ooh, Oregon. Eleven, yes, and that, 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 was, that was in the rain into the teeth. In the rain oh, into like thirty. Y'all were probably like 11? eleven or something when when we saw the you one there. with the the only one with the water. The pond to the right, the big dog leg oh, to the right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dog leg right, yeah. Big, big meaty part for it. Yes. I made yes. double solly on that, and I was like, this, that's a golf hole. Like, that's a real, <laughs> yeah. that's a real, yeah. I had driver four iron Same. into the water, and I was just like, and, yeah. And the thing that's about it. it, though, think about it, that course, when the wind is up, rain is going sideways, I mean, that course keep hitting you in the mouth. Because after 11, you got the part, the, the long part, 312, that we all had a little agreement on. <laughs> Is it part four? Hey, <laughs> it was it started, it started. It was it was it, it started to rain, right? So everybody's trying to figure out their rain grip glove situation right. on, on 12T. Everybody tried to hit punch cut three wood hybrid or whatever into the green. Everybody <laughs> double crossed it. <laughs> so we like, well, well, well mine mine was still mine was still alive. Mine was still alive. You didn't, didn't know it though, but you didn't know at the time. I didn't I didn't know it. I didn't know it this time. And then but we yeah, just that, made that, that gentleman's keep... agreement, like, hey, man, come on. Well, yeah. This is not us. <laughs> it never Run happened. That Run that back. Run that back. I didn't see. We, we turned to Ray Charles real quick. I didn't see anything. Go ahead, you're <laughs> up, Roger. <laughs> that little part, 12, 13, that little section is like my favorite spot. It, maybe my favorite spot abandoned. And it's just back in yeah. the forest there. And uh, it just feels like you're in like southern London area almost in terms of like the Heathland Golf and, and that whole connection. And we'll just, take your word for that. We'll take your word. You gotta, that's another place you got to get. That's, uh, it, uh, you know, it, 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 it inspires you a little bit to get out there and, and see some stuff. It's incredible. But it, a very how, nice, so nice how often do you go to bed? Was a very tasteful flex right there. Very like that. It, was, hey. it was one of these. Hey Sully, how often do you go to uh, Bandit? I've I've, twice a year? I've managed to make it every two once every two years. Yeah, yeah, it's once or two years. yeah. Okay. So I made it in 18, 20, 22, and twenty four now. Yeah, that uh, and then I went with my dad for the first time back in like twenty thirteen. Which the the time I was there in twenty thirteen, they had like a literal mosquito infestation. So if like a lot of people are are, are on social media right now, blowing up Bandit about the greens not being good and all this, cancel your trip and all this, like. I went and there was a mosquito infestation. Like I, trails was closed. They wouldn't let us play trails because how many mosquitoes there were. I mean, you're standing over shots. You're spitting mosquitoes out of your mouth. They're stinging me. Damn. They stung me 76 times on my arm. 76 times on my arm through sleeves. That's how many mosquitoes there were. And I came home and told my buddies like that was the best golf trip I've ever been on. Like this, this place is magic. I don't even care that I had mosquitoes crawling on my face. Like it was. It was. It was. It's that cool. It really is. So. I love it. Man, um, I'm glad you survived that West Nile, bro. Oh, that was, that yeah. would have been a sad Zika, way to go. All of that. It was tough. It was tough. But sorry, so Raj, 14th hole at, at Bannon Trails. You are you are pro 14 at Bannon Trails. Pro 14. Okay. I guess that's that's the place where the route and get a little kooky. You got to take the little cart up the hill and stuff like that. And uh, 
But I do think that, you know, that little reveal, I mean, that's the highest point on the course, right? Like that reveal is just amazing. You know, you get to stop, you walk up the hill and they reward you with this view. And then you kind of just get to work your way down and around. And that's like the the place on the property where you could kind of see the most of where you've been. And I, and I really appreciate, you know, I, I guess I appreciate going up to that hole just because how at that point, it's like you get to take in the experience a bit before you, before you finish it out. Did you so guys yeah, go I'm, up and go see the sign? Like you go up and go yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So see, I got that. I got that as one of my favorite holes on the, yeah. on the, all the courses. Right. I love that. That's, that's, yeah. and they, they, that's like what the Bill Cork hears. Yeah. He's, he, he hears that he gets 50% hate and 50% says that, green, hole. that yeah. green is quirky though, bro. It's like, hard. It is, you are it's definitely not, not rewarded for getting close. No. Like, you know, so it's, it's like drive it. Or, I think, I mean, y'all made birdie on that hole. You know, we all be driver down there and we were, you know, green high pretty much. And, but it, it, yeah, I, I found that, uh, I find that green very, very unnecessarily challenging. Um, yeah, I think it's too tilted, but I love the hole. It's 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 too narrow to be that elevated. I feel, uh, but yeah. it, it's I could it's could just be a better golfer. I could just turn into a better golfer. I won't have these these complaints. And that's you know that's I mean? the yeah. almost all the time. Bill Core and Ben Crutcher are going to give you some kind of off ramp of like, all right, if you're not that good, like here's your way in. Like you can do this one, and that's the one hole. There's like, nope, you everybody's <laughs> got to go through this toll right here this exact one <laughs> all right you're gonna, you're gonna be a lot of guys picking up on this one it, it, you know i do the, my critique of it is kind of like there's not a ton of strategy to it like if you know if you if there's my favorite short fours are like if you lay back here's how you can benefit from this right here's the, you have a full shot you can spin it there's no like flat place to play to down there it's natural like you know that'd be pretty manufactured in that part but uh, you know, sometimes you play that hole, it's a thrill. Sometimes it's just like, dude, I'll give me my six and I'll just move on. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, and some people like that. I don't think it fits the rest of the course. Some people like that. I, I it's not my favorite, but uh, you know, it's to each their own. That's what makes it great. Yeah. yeah. Official vote. Thumbs up, thumbs down from Doug and Will on the 14th hole. I, I'll ask anybody this question. Thumbs up. Uh, Doug. Thumbs up for me. All right. Yeah. Thumbs I'm up. With it. Okay. No, nah, I'm good. I'm, I like 14. I think, I think when you come off, you get your ass kicked on the par three, and then you play this. I think what is it? Um, thirteen. 13. I think that's a very awesome. quirky little hole. It's a. It's. I think it's good. Yeah, that was. It, but that it's was you have to, I, you have to play it a couple of times. I didn't know how far left you can be, so I'll I took one down the right, and I hit, here. and I tried to. I thought I should lay back, and then I had like six iron in there because the depth just completely tricked me, and then I got lazy. I didn't want to walk back to my. But the way that that approach is framed on thirteen, bro, is just like oh my god. Which one's yeah. thirteen? After the long par three where we all made it's, we re Oh, the the par five. Par four. No, no, no. par four par going four. down the hill. Oh, it gotcha. Like, it might have felt like a par five to you, Will. Hey, <laughs> hey. All the, all the, hey them par threes for like par fours, the par fours for like par five, five for like sixes. Yeah, it's a long, it's long course for me. Will you you duffed that one in the fairway? I had you laughing, bro. I was like, oh man, <laughs> ain't no way, bro. Hey, hey, you I know, really you know, hey, I appreciate you putting my shit out there. That I duffed in the fairway. <laughs> I appreciate that, right? That's, that's hey, a nice we, we, we was being kind of competitive in the match at this point, Sally, and in the little NASA, and uh, and, and you Will got quiet me, a little bit. Will, Will saw me take a relief from a sprinkler head while he was addressing his ball. He's like, "Hey, what the hell are you doing over there?" I'm like, I'm like "Man, I'm taking relief. What you heard? Like, stop! I see you over there kicking shit, man. What you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> no, he had he had hockey hey. motion. He had to kick it. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Hey, Will, and I was like, Will, you know what? I'm not worried about him. You know, look what happened. Will, Will was so wrapped up in me playing me playing football over there, man. He he, he had one about ten yards in front of him. I was like, oh yeah. I mean, his head, dog. There's maybe no better place if you get some people that are like into a match, like into the competitive yeah. part. Than to go play a bunch of courses and like we we had two on two the whole week and it was one of the most fun matches I've had uh, spanning several days just because everybody was into but, it. we weren't playing for anything it was just like you just did not want to lose. But think about it though, it's it's hard to keep and maintain the spirit of competition when you see those views, right? Totally. Because because typically typically I how I work how I work when it comes to competition I don't really want to talk to my playing opponent. But then I'm like I'm not talking to him, but damn it. Man, can you film this for me, bro? Can you, can you, can you get this for me, dog, please? So it's like it, it, it kind of it was, it was an uphill battle, like trying to maintain the the, the spirit of competition. But you know, the place Doug had so no problem fun. with that. He showed, no. <laughs> but he it goes to my point, it. though. The right. the first time at Bannon's probably the worst time. Like you don't know lines. Yeah. 
you have to completely trust the caddy that may not know like your skill level. So like, we all know what it's like to be under caddied for. And it's like, bro, you giving me the 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 fourteen handicap line. Like I hit it yeah. farther than that. Where where what do I have to guard against? And like then you're kind of at the. We had a good or they had a good caddy. I didn't pay for the advice that I was receiving, so I can't really hate on the caddy experience. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah. that's a new yeah. one. Blaming a caddy that's not even yours is a new one. I appreciate hey, that man. one. No, I was listening to the advice that he was giving Roger. Oh, Roger his, it. You know what I'm saying? He's telling Roger where to go, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna put it like this. On that 18th hole at Old McDonald, I, I I had to tip the caddy a little extra for his advice that he gave Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta know: is there footage of your of your ball on four, Will, uh, at Pack Dunes, the the one that's out over the ocean? Do we have footage of that one? Oh, yeah, I think yeah. it's in Roger's phone. Yeah. Roger, no, right, Roger. I think yeah, no, he did. I'm gonna put a shot tracer on. A matter of fact, <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Roger deleted that. I think. Uh, no, he should man. Have. That's, well, it needs to be deleted. Was, I didn't sign consent. Hey, that was a beautiful <laughs> death. That was a beautiful death right there, Sally. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> oh shit! That's the way to go. If you're if you're gonna go, that's a beautiful way to go. Uh, yeah, that, that hey, he, he started out toward Tokyo and tried to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stick around to the end of this, and I'm going to tell you how you can get a great shaving kit for three dollars. I, I thought that was a typo when I saw the price uh, listed here in the copy. Harry's, Harry's razors, if you haven't heard of them, they saw customers were getting ripped off by the shaving industry with overpriced, underperforming products. They decided to do something better. They found their own way to make beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of other big brands. So you never wonder if you've overpaid. I've got the starter kit. It's a wonderful, got wonderful blue packaging. Of course, you know I need my blue. It's got a weighted handle in it. It gives you a great shave, leaves you smelling great. Uh, they've got all kinds of great products as well. They got deodorant, lotion, body wash, hair gel, all of that, all incredible products that will leave you, leave your wallet full, uh, leave you feeling full after you've walked away with a great shave and a great clean. Uh, it's fantastic. German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer, the customizable delivery options for scheduled refills as low as $2. Again, what in this world costs $2 these days? Half of what you would pay for other big brands. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash NLU. Uh, again, they've got their great body wash, skin softening body wash, Redwood, Wildlands, and Stone. They got the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry. They got a no risk trial. If you don't like your shave, no worries. It's on them. Convenient subscription option that you can cancel at any time. Getting the best doesn't mean spending the most when you shave with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash NLU. That's harrys.com slash NLU for a $3 trial set. Back to the pod. So my yeah. thing with 14, back to that, is like it rolls into one of my, probably my favorite hole at, at Bannon Trails, which is 15, that, that hole with the cross. It's got a cross par bunker. Five? It's par four. It's got a cross bunker in there that, that, that kind of makes you oh, say uh, like, right. yeah, you can't just pound driver down here. If you want to take on farther, you can, you can go over there, but you know, over the bunker, if you want to in a little narrow spot, but it's, you know, maybe not worth the risk, but if you want to be more impressive with your, uh, you know, aggressive with your layup, you got to go far up down the left and then you get a clean look at this beautiful green site. The, the fourth green, if you remember that after the par five, this is the fourth green, the hogs back that runs down the middle and you crest that hill and the way I can't even describe like the way that green sits and the way the 15th green sit like in these little ridges is like what first thing yeah. I think of when I think of Bannon trails and like the, yep. can, the thing that, that always gets me too is like the little details they get right of like, I don't know if you guys noticed this like first time around, like the, the, the walks in between holes. Did you notice that they're like trailheads and like there's, there's, yeah. it's like a literal yeah. trail walk. Like there's mulch and yeah. stuff laid down in there for like, mm. this is trails. Like this is literally kind of how it's doing and how Bill Corr, yeah. he follows deer trails. Like he, he, like in his scouting, he, he finds where the deers, the deer walk for the easiest way to navigate the land and incorporates that into his routing is kind of like, ah, oh, dude. I, but, but even there's the options and I, I can't remember. Well, I think it was the hole that where I dubbed it on. Thanks to Roger, the world knows. Uh, that that gave you options of what trail you want to take going up the hill, right? Because there's one you can go yeah, left, you can go, you can go right, you can go yeah. right, right? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to take this deeper because I, I love the fact that I was at uh, 8,000 calories before noon. That thing felt so good. So I was trying to burn all the calories I can burn. 
Yeah, yeah Will, you, you can't remember this hole because this is um, the hole he's talking about with after the or was it 15 we're talking about. Yep. That's the one where I hit in the bunker and then bladed it to the back of the green and made yeah, the it made a birdie. Yeah, it made a birdie. Yeah, yeah. So I remember that bullshit. Yeah. Yep. yeah, see, that's that. You gotta, if you remind Will and bullshit, he'll remember it. So, you know, <laughs> slop. So what? what's your guys like, what's your rain golf? You know, a lot of people have questions about band and weather. What's a good time of year to go? Whatever. It's the third time I've been in spring. First time I've gotten rained on. First time in, in five trips to band that I've actually gotten rained on. I think band gets that's a bad rare. rep bad rep for weather and i've maybe i've just been lucky but i think it gets a worse rep uh you know what's 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 the worst weather you play in i don't know or what's the worst weather you had on the trip and and uh did, did it approach the level of not wanting to play you got to give this to roger yeah it's all I roger. Never, have i ever had a, an experience at bending where it was worth walking off the course on that's yeah sure you can you can you can phrase it that way okay i did come underprepared after y'all left we played old mac one more time I walked off after 13. Did you have rain gear? Did I see that? Did you have rain gear on? Bruh, I thought that this this Under Armour jacket that I had on was rainproof. <laughs> oh, I found out by the fourth hole that it wasn't. Oh, no. And then by, by, by 12, I was just like, man, dog, I'm, it's on my skin, bro. You're like, going to catch a fever. Out, we out here naked, <laughs> man. I can't, you know, I walked in. But I mean, I will say I, I have had some pretty torrential downpours. And I, and the thing about band and weather is that it doesn't necessarily have to be in the forecast, which is kind of tricky, right? Because trails, it was like, bro, it's supposed to be perfect outside. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I, I just think that it's, you have to go to band and prepared for anything, but it's not necessarily that, you know, the, the case that you always get the worst, but I've had, I've played in the worst weather that I've ever played golf in at band and on trails. And that was the first time I went up there. Hmm. So did that, so obviously that didn't discourage you. Like I'm never coming back again. Oh, hell no. No, it was, no. I mean, you know, you, you surrender to the elements. Hopefully you prepared, you got rain gloves, you know, rain jacket, stuff like that. But it's like, you, you don't turn that down. Like you don't turn that down. That's the thing is like, I've like this trip was the worst weather I've had on there. And I was like, I would got to go back tomorrow. Right. Like if that's, yeah. the, and I still had a total blast. Right. It was, yeah, you know, yeah. some of the greens were not in great shape and it was kind of like, Oh, I just keep going. Like it's still the most fun. And there's just, and that's the thing too, is there's just so much depth there now that mm -hmm. I, used to be when I would go, I'd be like, if I don't play 36 a day, like I'm missing out on something. But mm -hmm. now you have some of these off ramps too, that are like 18 not quite enough. And like, you want to do some other things out there. The addition of shorties, and again, Will and, and Doug, this is your first time being there, but it's kind of like, I always said my perfect day is 18 somewhere, and then, you know, 13 holes at Preserve. Par three course, takes an hour, a little bit more, some drinks, just relaxing round, hit all the approach shots. It's so fun, but it was hard to get tea time at Preserve. Like, it was so jam. Like, literally, everybody from every course wants to either start their day there or finish their day there. Now, a second offering, 19 holes, shorties, par three course. Will, what, what was your reaction to seeing that one? I mean, you know what? Uh that was another course that kicked my ass. Uh, uh, <laughs> that kick, how did that hey, kick bro, your ass? Oh man, that, that thing! I just the undulations a little here and there. I'm thinking, oh, it's a little rinky dink part three. We're gonna be cool. I can get my birdies in. No, nah, I, I didn't. I wasn't on the right side of any birdie attempt. <laughs> like it was, it was either birdie or b baloney. It, it was, it was, it was bad. So it was, it was from aesthetic standpoint. I mean, it was it was obviously beautiful. You got you got a chance to, you know, really kind of go through your whole set in a par three in a par three world, which is you you don't always see that. You know, you just need probably a wedge, maybe as high as eight iron. Man, I'm, I mean, again, I'm not long. I hit a six iron in one of these holes, but yes, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yes, I, I was I was out there grinding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what was crazy though? The remember that what was that little forty yard little flip wedge you had to hit? It, it, it don't matter. It was like no, six or seven. Four it was like six or seven. Flip wedge. Yeah. Anyway, next question, Solly. Uh -oh. Next question. Let's, let's... I got if Solly, I got footage of that too. I was gonna ask uh, that. Please. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll play it on the video part of this. Where? Oh, uh, that's cool. Dirty bird. This is shot. Oh, be good. <laughs> hey, it looked good up there. Yeah, I'm you really going? You an asshole for filming there. Oh, oh, I got God. something too. I got tracer on it. Oh man. <laughs> hey. I got hey Roger. I got the opposite angle. Remember, I ran to the green so we could get the approach. We got that's a two shot. <laughs> 
Oh man. But it was hey, just, you know, in the in the words in the words of Doug Smith, I feel like I'm being attacked right now. Hey, but, but, hey, but, but you, Sally, you know one thing though, uh, golf aside that we haven't mentioned, after you get to Bandon, like the hospitality and the people, I think that's also needs to be factored into the time that you have because I can't tell you the last time like the hospitality has been like five star quality uh, at a golf situation that I've been around. The people were f- phenomenal. And, and, and there's a huge difference in like good hospitality and like kissing your ass, right? Like yeah, you go to some right. resorts and everybody just like, you know, just feel like, all right, this guy wants money from me for, for this. And yeah. like they want to Sea tip- Island. I'll say Sea Island. Sea Island's over the top. Like it's acting. It yeah. Me it, it's just me. Acting versus Fine. genuine, like, like I just want you to have a good time. I want you to go home and tell your buddies. I, very similar to St. Andrews in, over in Scotland would be my my comp of just like, dude, no one's out to get you. They just want you to have a good time. They want you to love your trip here and and hopefully come back someday and tell your friends about it. And yeah, I know, I know I know this I know this and and, and Roger and I we we ramped and raved about it uh, because we didn't get a chance to really enjoy it because we were pressed for our next uh, tea time. But the sushi <laughs> yeah. at Trails, yeah, man. Bro, me and Roger was so upset that we only got one roll, and we was like, "How can we get back over there?" And we said, "Ma'am, we're we're coming back. When you close, five minutes." It's like, damn. And we we almost debated like, "Is Shorty's worth it?" You know. <laughs> I will I will have you know that I walked off of Old Mac wet and went straight to get lunch at trails to drive oh you did i went right over there and i'll defend roger on this one for walking off if you didn't have the right rain gear for that day at old mac that was that was not the day to play golf that was yeah. that was my you can't you can't hide nowhere yep. out in old mac i mean you can't you can't behind get nothing <laughs> you yeah, hey. get crushed yeah that was, that was uh i felt like a hoe i felt like a hoe walking off but it was like man i if you're not having I would fun, be a healthy hold than a, than a sick a sick man. If you you're not, I mean? yeah, that's the importance of uh, of good rank oh, here. Though. A healthy hoe. okay, all right, yeah. I'm with it. Healthy we, we all want uh, healthy hoe. Yeah, can we get healthy hoe on Roger's tag right here, <laughs> like right there? Can we get? Because we don't want no sick hoe. I'm not not a sick hoe, but healthy hoe. No, you can't be a sick hoe. You can't be a sick hoe. Can't be a sick hoe. Yeah. I'm dead. You can't get no work, you know. Uh, I love it. Ho, ho, have an yeah. E or does do you spell ho with an E or just H O? What do we? What do we? Depends on what community you in. I think it's E. Yeah, I think it's E though. Okay, yeah, you gotta you gotta okay. add that E. Okay, I got yeah. it. You gotta, just, you gotta add Because <laughs> ho, we talk, if we just talk about with no E, that's just uh, Santa Claus. Because he was yeah. he was all about hoes. That's a greeting. That's a greeting. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah that's they, they still haven't noticed. You still haven't noticed. Look at your tag. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Thank he you. knows. No, I, I'm I'm appreciative. Yeah. It actually sound like some type of like a like a like a brand, like a lingerie brand or something. Like what, what can we yeah. is it like a, a maybe like a, a Pilates golf studio? lingerie brand? A Pilates Healthy Pilates Ho. studio, healthy yeah. hoe, healthy yeah. hoe Pilates. Yeah, I, I like that. It sound like a P ninety X video about to come after that. <laughs> All twerk Zumba. Uh, anyways, back to the food ab- <laughs> abandoned. <laughs> I was gonna say like since I started going, the, you know, the golf has been like right here the whole time like it doesn't it doesn't change right like obviously they add course it keeps going the food just like keeps keeps rising like the you yeah. know the new ghost tree grill or i forget what it's called cafe whatever it is that that restaurant was insane oh, everything we was damage. good there hey, we did damage <laughs> hey, ghost tree grill. Oh. they don't want to see us no more Nah, I they lost. I, lo- I think they lost. They lost money with us. I think our table. Right. They lost money, bro. Sala, <laughs> so, we all forgot we had money and just started eating everything because it was comp. We was like, "What? <laughs> One of those? What? Yeah. Two of them? What's the other entree? Let me get three of those." <laughs> and, and because it was comp, that's the most we have ever shared. You want some? Here, yeah. this. <laughs> hey, take this, brother. I, I brother. never seen. Hey, I never seen Doug share so much with me so easily. I was like. I was like, damn, we gotta come to more free spots more often. Yeah, no, but that's that's a good spot right there, though. That, yeah, yeah. No, I'll be honest. A good spot. I I was not like alcohol hungover in, on any of the next days. I was food hungover. Like I did not, yeah. my food was not digested for several of yeah. those rounds. Unfortunately, it's just. Uh, all right, so the most spirited part of any Band and Dunes related podcast, we got to rank them. You got to rank them, and I know Doug and Will, you haven't seen a couple of the courses, so I'm gonna start with Roger. How do you do? How do you do your five courses at Bandon? I mean, and this is just just favorite to, to sure. least favorite. Yes. Yeah. Not not the order that you play them in, just yeah. No, just and, and the way I answer is like which ones would you be the most excited to go play? That's how I figure that's how I rank it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go trails, banding, old Mac, pack sheep. Okay. And then if we toss in short, I mean, if we toss in shorties in, I mean, we're not, yeah, we're not. That's a different category. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a different category. Yep. But uh, yeah, so I just, if if I had an extra day, like if they if they give you an extra day, I'm I'm like probably eight times out of 10, I'm gonna pick trails to to go back to. That answers the question. Oh, Will, you got to play, you did not play Band of Dunes, you did not play Sheep Ranch. What's your, what's your rank of your three? Uh, amongst those three, I would pr- probably have to say Trails, Old McDonald, and Pacific Dunes. Doug, what's yours? And I'm going I'm to just switch wheel second to. It's going to go Trails, Pack, Mac. Because the 18th hole, of course. We, 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 the we established. Hole. And the 17th hole. And the 17th hole. <laughs> and partially the 16th hole. <laughs> and then you go all the way back between 15 and 12, you know. <laughs> no, but no, but, uh, don't, don't under. I, Look, when, we, when I went through all my favorite holes, that hole on Old Mac, right when you come up the hill, right before the par three, seven, seven, uh, seven. Are you seven. kidding? Like, um, are you kidding? That's that that's little, top that sliver, top tier golf design. That little like, sliver of ocean, man. Ooh, that just oh, takes yeah, sure doing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then yes. the fact yes. that you can just so hear it, like I'm not hating the whole course. You, well, you hear it as you're getting closer to it, and it's just yeah, it's like that a rumbling. Infinity look. Out yeah. over into the ocean. I'm yeah. That's hey. I think that's a. I think that's a picture you can send Sully Roger. That one. We took a picture there. Because Willie, wow. yeah. Because you also wow. Will made birdie from sixty feet. So yeah. oh, let's take a picture. Come on, everybody yeah. in. Everybody <laughs> in. Come celebrate my birdie. <laughs> yeah, Sully. Yeah, he. I'm. I'm definitely yeah. sending you this. This. This four T shot on Old Mac and this little. This failed hey. flop attempt at Shorty. Hey. Hey, son, I do want you to know that I, I know all these uh, descriptive words these guys are using. You know, duff. Bogey, first birdie. I mean, I can go off my ball now. This is oh, what you to be. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I just make sure because no. you know, Roger, they, these these guys are very good with their words, and I see what they're using here. They're they're they're, they're um they can paint a different picture. Than no, we, you, no, you, you could go off your okay. ball, bro. Like, no, that's okay. no, we. Okay. Right. You know, what I mean, I, I like. I, we was just at Chipping the was first, man. I, you could definitely. <laughs> you could. Wait, what you say, dude? <laughs> I said Will Chipping was a little suspect, but that's the one part that cross handed should be easier on is the chipping. Well, right? actually, my I don't know. What, I don't know. I, I'm just saying it because my friend, I'm laughing along with it. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But <laughs> no, first of all, I, I can. We'll, we'll try to get overly creative, hitting six iron and seven irons, and pshirl, and things was going over the back. Don't try me. I got I got receipts uh, on that. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I I'm, I'll when send it comes you that, to, Sully. So when it comes when it comes to like. You know, around the green, so like, I get very creative. I tr- I try to get. I'm more old school type. I'm the 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 Bump and yeah. John Miller, Johnny Miller. I'm six nine around the green, seven nine around the green. I don't have one wedge. So there's a couple shots that I try to you know. You don't you don't school. carry a wedge. Uh, I I do carry. I carry oh. fifty four fifty. I don't carry fifty eight. Okay. So no I, flops. I, Oh, I flop. I flop with Dude, 50. Will can flop a 50, and it's stupid. It's the dumbest thing you ever see. It's like, how did you do that? Like, how? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. I don't know if a I A little flip Magoo move, man. That's... <laughs> flip Magoo. <laughs> I don't know how Will, you got a new name. name. Yeah, Flip Magoo. That's funny, actually. All right. But yeah. I gave you guys another... Uh, my rankings real quick. I go Band and Dunes 1. Uh, Trails is 2. I... Th- I got to make a decision here, and I don't know. I've had Sheep 3. I might put Pack at 3. Uh, I... I didn't get to play sheep this go around, so I can't bump it down. It'd be unfair to me to bump it down. Sheep three, pack four, and old McDonald five. I'll say you get pack on a nice day, it's higher, but I guess that's kind of my beef with it. Is on, I'd rather if it's windy, I'd much rather play somewhere like sheep than than uh, than pack. So that's that's my ranking. But so real quick, real quick before you go, what what, what exactly uh, was the scores that you guys shot over in Shorty? Because everybody was too close to the pin. Bro, y'all were Every, tearing the flag yeah, yeah. out the I mean, hole, even, bro. Hey, even I, hey, let me tell you this. I said, that guy's good. And the guy said, oh, yeah, that's just a caddy. Like, <laughs> so, like, yeah. Everybody everybody in the group was good. <laughs> so uh, we had a week-long match going. It was uh, myself and DJ See, against smart. against Poosh and, and Tron. And we, you know, each day was we played front nine worth a point, back nine worth a point, Whole match worth two points, um, so that was sixteen points that were available um, in the in the you know in, in on the real on the full courses. We played for a full point at Shorty's, and we played the whole week long was two points as well, like the running match for the whole week. So we had a point on the line at Shorty's, and we our caddies we knew both our caddies Squid and, and Joe Zwickle. 
uh, they were on our backs the whole week. They we tagged them into play and get in on the match. So they were the third on there, and they're both plus plus handicaps. Like they're ballers, yeah. like so good. Uh, so yeah, we had you know we we were throwing some darts in there, and yeah, push push made a, an ace on the third hole. He blew out the O ring. He landed it in directly into the cup, damaged the side of the cup. It was the second ever ace apparently at Shorty's because uh, it had just opened. Uh, we caught that what on they, film. What they, what they giving them for that? Uh, I think a handshake. I think a, just a thanks for coming out. Uh, I don't remember if he got anything big for that. That's, that's not that's not building reason. that's not building community. They're gonna that's have a lot of reason. I didn't waste the hole in one there. That's yeah. the reason. They're yeah. they're gonna get they're gonna have a whole heck of a lot of aces out there. But yeah, we were. Gosh, we got competitive in that one. It just people just started throwing darts in there, and that was a fun way to play that course too, because it got it did get really competitive really quickly. Bro, I, that that I think I saw you guys. I saw like six balls around the pin. I was like, that thing cannot hide at all. <laughs> not one, not one ball went in there. I, I can only imagine what the other seventeen holes were looking like. Um, all right, this is the hardest thing I've maybe the, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, uh, which was we were trying to debate this in the in the you know the grill afterwards of like all right, you, everybody can rank your five courses that's easy and in my honest Will and Doug you might have an advantage here having only seen three of the courses but I asked you each to rank your top five favorite holes mm -hmm. on the whole property and like you can only name five that's the hardest part so uh, with five courses it's like well, shit man I love. Pacific Dunes. Do I have a hole from Pacific? I don't know if I do, but I'm gonna start with you, Raj, because you've seen all five courses. I'm gonna ask your top five holes on the whole property. All right. I mean, and I'm assuming that we pick one from each. I you mean, don't have you to. Do have it, That's right? the hard do part. That's the hard part. Uh, so, okay. I will go old Mac three just because that's how, you know, that's how I know the trip has actually started. That's like my first punch in the face that we abandoned them. Mm -hmm. Love that. Um, my next one, I'm probably going to go band in 16 is just, it's very special to me. Uh, partially because like, that's the, that's my favorite drone shot of the property period. Uh, and this is in no particular order. This is just yeah. like the holes that, the holes that stick out to me. Pacific dunes. I really enjoy 10. And it, I, I guess it's kind of like a cheesy hole just because it's just a, you know, a, a Oceanside par three. But I don't know. I just I enjoy ranking. the elevation. It's your ranking, you know? It's your yeah, ranking. Yeah. But I just, I, like, even if the wind is beating on you right there, 150 yard shot, like, it's fun to kind of get creative as, as far as how you get down that hill. Mm -hmm. And, like, you, you could usually, like, if, if I'm having a terrible time at Pacific Dunes, that hole I have fun, no matter what. Um... I gotta give I gotta give uh, Sheep Sixteen some love. That's part a three on part the cliff. Three. Yep, part three on the cliff, and then on trails, I'm probably I feel like weird saying this one, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say ugh. I'm gonna say trails uh, trails fifteen. There we go. Love that trails fifteen. The par five, you know, the par five, big tilted par five. That's 16. Yeah, like that oh, that, no, 16. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 12, 16. I'm sorry. Trail 16. Okay. Big tilted par five. I, I don't know. I just, I love the way that whole. Oh, and, and it's going up, big up, up the big hill. Yeah. yeah. The one where you hit it uh, way right and have to sprint up the hill. So you didn't fall back down. I think that a lot of my yeah, favorite holes are framed around things I remember Will doing. <laughs> 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 hey, Will dead sprinted up the hill. The caddy found the ball. Will man, ran about a, a, a four nine up the hill. Trying to... <laughs> uh, I was in, I was in the I was in the combine. I was. I was yeah, man. I was. We was like he was on the calorie burning journey, bro. I'm like I love yeah. to see it, baby. I, I was there. I was there. All right, Doug. What's your five five best holes you played? You know, as we've talked, I'm, I'm starting to have some memories come back. And I'm a, they're in the order that we played them on a trip. So the first trip, the first hole that kind of took my breath away would be Old Mac number uh, five, par three. Love that. I think that part, I've never seen a stacked green like that, like where the tears, like, it looked like a little fat kid that's just born, got them rolls. That's how that green looked as you go <laughs> back up there. I thought that hole was dope. Um, Doug also made I will... birdie there. I just wanted yeah, to. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if we're going to see a trend here. Okay, let, let's go. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm also going to give num number seven at Old Mac. Roger says that the three up the hill past the ghost holes is spiritual. I think when you get up on top of seven green, you look over, like you see those uh, those uh, Lord of the Rings rocks out in the water. That that shit was dope. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Pack Dunes number 12. Like that mm. hole a lot. Um, Par five. I think it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, there's something to it. I think how it, it that's the hole that has the um the dune behind the green. Yes, R- Roger, yeah. you made eagle, if yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken. Something yes, about it hitting it into that little cove, that natural cove, I think is gorgeous. Um, trails, uh, I'm giving eleven and fourteen. That's those are my five holes. That's uh, six holes, but I don't care. I had to add an extra one. Trails no. eleven, I think, is one of the hardest golf holes. You get that hole back into the wind with some elements. You've got to sack up on a second shot, not hit in the water. And if you bail, there's a bunker that's going to snatch you by the ass. Like, I, I think that's one, a very well thought out hole, personally. Yeah. 11, yeah. I mean, you got to hit two very, very quality Great shots. Yeah. Like, like, Will, I think you kind of bailed on your tee shot a little bit. Uh, yeah. And just, like, you, it, it, it turns it into a three-shot hole so quickly. Yeah. And even just, Actually, I, I went, I went to that bunker that is probably not in play for a lot of people on, on the left. Well, we yeah. got it in right. tough conditions. I've never played that hole yeah. that hard. I mean, usually it's yeah. you might have four iron. Yeah, yeah, you have four iron in there. That's well, like, I mean, we t- y'all, did y'all y'all tipped it out too, Solly? Right? Y'all went to the played the. We were black green tees. We played green tees. Oh okay. man, Solly, back oh, that yeah, thing. Oh yeah, you're going You didn't juvenile, man. Oh, you got to yeah. bust hey. handicap. Who's got to be a hero? Who's got to be a hero? Why you got to be a hero? It's raining out here. You know, listen. I mean, we had a. I'll throw DJ under the bus. We had a six handicap in the group. We're not to, you know, hit a far. He's Damn, not going to get like, Call, call no straight. He, he can't even defend himself, dog. Damn, Damn Sully. I got to be a hero. I got no pride on what tees I play. I got no pride. I got no Grace. pride. Yeah, man, reverse backed up on him, too. I don't, were y'all t- I don't even think y'all were. You were tipping it? Yeah. Every oh, shot, yeah. every day. Every we shot. Didn't, Hey, I mean, hence why we had a 267 yard par three. Like, we, oh, I didn't realize that was two. Okay, yeah, ours was 240 yeah, yeah. on 12. Yeah, okay. Was, yeah, two, we should call one up. It's way more fun, guys. It's really great. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. All right, what's yeah. your five holes, Will? Uh, my five holes are uh, 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 four Pacific Dunes. Yep. The water, even though it didn't work out for me. <laughs> I didn't really get a chance to play the whole. Wait till you see this video of Will, bro. He's lined up literally at 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 a different continent. That ball might still be uh, in motion. Like that's a. Big it, it still might. Be, it, it, that, shit, that shit is floating down the Pacific hope, right I now. I hope it made it to its, to its intended destination, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's you know again, I didn't get a chance to play four. I just walked it after I hit in the wall. But I was cool with that walk. I was cool with it. Um, I like I like ten at uh I like ten the par three over downhill par three overlooking the water in the backdrop. I uh, made my, no matter, I feel like I couldn't hit a bad shot. And then, you know, with the, with the, with everything falling off. So it's probably playing what down six, was it down six, seven, maybe? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Six, seven. I don't know. I always like holes where you gotta, you gotta. I didn't have a yardage book, Will. Jesus. Yeah. We had to be creative. Um, I also like trails number nine. Trail nine was solid. Part five. Trails, part five. Yep. I, I love the fact that you really had to. I mean, shoot, I, I think I hit one of the best three irons of my life just to get it to 130 because I yeah. hit it left. I hit it yeah. left in the in a mess, and I was like, and I stuck it pretty close to birdie. So I, I love the birdie hole that I made. Number 11, uh, trails, kick my ass, but I, I'll do it again. Uh, Old McDonald, number three, coming off the uh, the hill, and you see the wah. That was beautiful. And I know we said five, but six is 18th hole at McDonald's because it just, just got under Doug's skin. Got it. That's, just That's that perfect. Simple. That's perfect. Yeah. Just to see, just to see <laughs> Doug lot. mentally That's... dismantled. With dismantled. Doug. Doug started walking. When it was done working. in the hill. <laughs> well, I'm trying to hit my ball. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> Why in the hell? I was like, <laughs> damn, <laughs> dog. <laughs> I thought he left. I thought he did. I'm just kidding. Hey, I'm kidding. Hey, I'm kidding. Hey, I thought I was. I was like. I was like. Did the heel just get there? The way, the way he's so mad. Hey, Doug, acting like they just shifted it over. Yeah, like. And then, and then it was so funny. It was so funny. Doug hit me with a question. Like, man, you agree with this heel here? I was like, I don't. I don't know, Doug. I just. It I was. Just, I don't know. I, I don't even know if he introduced himself before he started yelling at me in the clubhouse about the 18th, yeah. about that pound. He's like, I, I hate that hole. I hate that hole. What's your name again? Hey. 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 I was in the middle, hey, I was in the middle of a transfusion, still hearing about this damn hole. Oh this next week, I'm still talking about that damn hill in front of the game. Uh, hey, and then I, I hit a good flop shot over, and Doug was like, see? You got to hit a flop shot 
to the flag. And I was like, I'm like, yeah, you make a point, but I still let him. You know, the next time he plays it, he's going to bank one off that left ridge. It's going to roll right down there, 15 feet. He's going to make left. birdie, and he's like, all right, all right, this was pretty good. This I get, good. I right. get what he did there. Yeah. <laughs> I get, I get what he did. There I understand now. what they were trying to get at. I need an adult. I need. An adult. <laughs> <laughs> they are ganging up on you a little hard here, Doug. I see. I see. This is how it goes down for me with the rest of the guys as well. Yeah. I see. I see this. This all feels very familiar. All right, my five favorite. I hate my list already. I've, I've sweated this one out. Uh, four at Bandon. That's my favorite hole in the whole property. Uh, mm -hmm. Just incredible. And I'll, I'll I'll join you with sixteen at Bandon as well, Raj. Seven at Old Mac. Just nothing else like that. I've played anywhere else in the no. world. It's just nothing like that. It's kind of like yeah, my thought process there. Like eleven at Pack is great. Ten at Pack is great. But like. There's holes somewhat like that elsewhere in the world. There's nothing else like the, sure. the first three on that, that list. Um, That's fair. That's six at Pacific uh, is my favorite. Is one of my favorite holes. That short four inland with the with the perched up green up there. I think that is a master of strategy hole. That, that hole is different every day in the wind. Six. I love Which one's it. Which one six? Which one six? Drop, the little drivable four. The little drivable four. With the all flared it short right. Small short, the small oh, perch step yeah. green. That was I just love that hole. Yeah, it's not the I do craziest that. view, but that's my favorite hole uh, at Pack. That's crazy. I already I don't. I wouldn't expect that. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to be a favorite hole. That's that it. I wouldn't. Yeah, that's a good one. Ball right there. I, yeah. Again, I told you I hate the bottom of this list. I, I I've I've got like five holes that I've cycled in and out of this throughout, and I might change my mind before I get to the last one. But I had to nominate six at Sheep oh, Ridge. Are you talking about the one that goes kind of left? That's what, six. The, number six. Six is what you made a double. Six you made a double. Six pack has that low, like the milk carton bunker. Like you go missing if you hit it in that front left bunker, uh, short uh, beneath that green. It's perched up on the top there. It's got the bunker down the right. Doug, you went, you went, you went like this and this and this over the green. Yes, that is very possible as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the hell with that hole then. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, solid. Six at six at Sheep Ranch. I had Raj. Uh, I know you've seen that one, but the the the. One of the coolest tee shots you'll ever hit. It's just this kind of bendy par four. You hit over this cliff. I mean, it's it is, it's a it's a better version. Like if you if you would have got to play six at Sheep Ranch, you would like that more than four at Pack Dunes by far. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's a more thrilling tee shot. It's not necessarily it the most strategic hole, but it's just like, dude, you just where I have a poster of it somewhere. I haven't hung it up yet, but it's just like, dude, that that's like one of the coolest spots ever in the play golf. My honorable mentions. You're not. I'm not supposed to mention these because it was it was five, but. 15 and four on trails are both fantastic. 12 and five on Bandon are just awesome freaking holes. I, I love both of those. 17 on Pacific is a sneaky good par three uh, yeah. away from the water there, but just the awesome. You can land it short right and roll it all the way up there. 17 at Sheep, that drivable four up against the ridge uh, and the cliff yeah. there is incredible. And three on Old Mac somehow didn't make my list. See, see Roger Sally said he had honorable mentions. Yeah. <laughs> I cheated. It, I hate it, myself it, it, for it. You proceeded to name the rest of the property. I did. I yeah. hate myself yeah. for it. That's what Tron usually does. It's, like, your, I, it's your show, dog. It's your show. No, I, you make up your own rules, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. but the trek to Bandon, the trek to Bandon sucks. I don't care what anybody says. The trek out there is we gotta, unless we you're flying fly private into, right there. Into, uh, See, into that's that. what I want to do. Yeah. Fly right what's there. What's the right? airport right there? Bend? North Bend, yeah. North North Bend. Bend. We gotta we gotta fly in the North Bend next time. Yeah, That's yeah. Because I, I tell you this, I, I'm gonna say this it, with all due respect to 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 Bandon and just to Oregon as a whole. <laughs> I, I I live right around the corner from Florence, South Carolina, but Florence, Oregon is totally different from Florence, Oregon to Florence, South Carolina. That was that was the most unique mm -hmm. trip from airport to resort. That I ever been on because and and at the times that we came in we came in what time at like midnight not midnight but late we came late in, in we landed like seven seven thirty yeah oh, oh, and I and yeah. I felt like the I felt like the trees were alive I thought they were moving while we were driving yeah. like that that was no, I, that was um went, the third time I went to Ben and they uh the the group that I was with had like booked the driver uh and I got there like super late and so he driving me down there and like this dude was struggling to stay asleep. Like oh, on the way stay down, lot, stay, 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 awake. stay awake. He was struggling yeah. to stay awake on the way down there, and it was like, like I, I gained a newfound respect for how dangerous that drive could be. So low, that, that, like, yeah. If you're making a late night drive from Eugene to Bandon, it's like, bro, you better stay in Coos Bay. Hey, hey, Solly, Solly, Solly. Doug, Doug never drives ten and two. I can tell this dude was scared. He was ten and two the whole way, and the music, and the music was down. Music was off. Music was off. Quiet right back there. Hey, right. so, but oh I, man, so I, I hey, definitely fell asleep. But that. the homie, but the homie Kyle though, like when so we the fourth guy in our group is uh is the marketing director for this company Ethica. 
but like he he drove like he wanted us to not make it. Oh. I, like, and I, I don't know, like this is the first time me and Kyle <laughs> took a long car ride together. I don't know if he was trying to impress me or some shit, but it was like, bro, this like was he, he fast? Yes, bro. Yes, oh, bro. Hell no. <laughs> Yes, that's yeah. nothing, dog. I can't do that, bro. And then it's like you know, I go back to my little healthy whole thing. Should I say something? You know what I mean? Like I like, man, I just sat back and tried to just yeah. I, I put it in the Lord's hands, man. We made it, but it was like, man, I I think that 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 drive could get a little dicey. So make sure you you, you get there with uh, daylight. You know, that's get right. there with daylight. Some people say like, oh, it adds to the experience. Like it's so hard to get to, right? And it's kind of ah, I man. I would I wouldn't mind it being a little easier. I say this. I I don't want to know that experience if Doug and I had a flat tire. Yeah, I do not want to know that experience. But it's also like if it wasn't so remote. I mean, it's already booked up for like a year and a half to two years, right? If it wasn't more remote, like, I don't know, maybe out four years in, in bookings potentially. I don't know. Yeah, no it's, question. It's, it's, no, you got to you got to go there on purpose, though. Nobody there go there on accident. You don't stumble upon. Oh, I'm gonna stop by Bannon for a couple of days. No, you got to go there for a reason. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it surprisingly it hasn't gotten easier. I mean, I, I I I know like Denver, you can run a flight from in summer months from Denver to North Bend, which makes it a little okay. easier. But I hear that airports mm -hmm. um, unpredictable too, though. I mean, it's just with weather and all that, uh, all those factors out there. So as we move to wrap, any other highlights? You know, anything? Any other restaurant uh, food highlights or you know drink highlights? Halfway House. I I cannot do a band pop without shouting out the energy balls. They're just fantastic. They're those are like they are. They are. unreal. The, and the Every halfway Man house, I think I got a transfusion at every single one. Like it just, they make it wonderful trans. Like yeah. it's just, it is the ultimate guys trip. And it's just like, I, I don't know. I could, I could talk about or, it almost or, every day. Or gals trip. Uh, or for, gals sure. trip. for sure. For yeah. sure. Buddy's trip. Absolutely. I mean, shoot, when you, think about, when you think about, when you think about, uh, we, we saw our colleagues, um, uh, Kira Dixon and uh, Miss Mayo uh, on their trip. And I thought it was a sight to see, you know, when you see them, out there, uh, you know, playing golf. And I'm up here thinking, I'm like, we got to quit because getting the weather's getting bad. They're out there trucking. They're, oh, they're, this was, they're, they're doing it. This was not the trip to 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 not go play with that many other industry people around being like, the, you yeah. know who the, who the, I'm not calling you a fraud for walking off old Mac, but I, you know who the frauds are that didn't go out and play. Uh, if you didn't, if you were, if you, if you were not willing to tough it out, I will excuse the old Mac day, Raj, because that was, Thank you, bro. that, that Thank was, you, bro. that was tough. If you didn't have the rain gear, we I'm didn't think about, you know, getting a newborn sick, man. Come on, bro. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. That's I, I, I said, yeah, I'm man. not, I said, no, don't get defensive. I said, I'm not. Yeah, I feel like no. you're allude, I feel like you're no. alluding to it in no. ways that would allow others to infer. No, that that's I, your own self-conscious. You know. That's your own conscious getting to you right there. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, like, I'm a <laughs> go ahead. Had a joke. <laughs> All right. We're gonna let right. you guys go. We really appreciate your time. This was this was more fun than I could have anticipated. Uh uh, this was a, a blast. we we managed to cover Bannon with a new angle. So this was this was a lot of fun. So you can check out Will and Doug on their podcast Beyond the Fairway. Uh, you can check out Raj literally anywhere. Just follow him on on whatever handle. He's 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 everywhere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you do it, man. Healthyho.com coming soon. <laughs> uh, appreciate your time, fellas. We'll see you soon. All right, man. For FanDuel, must be 21 or older, 18 or older in D.C. and present in select states. FanDuel is offering online sports wagering in Kansas in an agreement with Kansas Star Casino LLC. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit FanDuel.com slash RG in Colorado, D.C., Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Virginia, and Vermont. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text Next Step to 53342 in Arizona. 1-888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1-800-9 with it in Indiana, 1-800-522-4700, or visit ksgamblinghelp.com in Kansas, 1-877-770-STOP in Louisiana, visit mdgamblinghelp.org in Maryland, visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net in West Virginia, or call 1-800-522-4700 in Wyoming. Hope is here, visit gamblinghelplinema.org, or call 800-327-5050 for 24-7 support in Massachusetts, or call 1-877-8-HOPE-NY, or text HOPE-NY in New York.